Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello, good How evening. I'm doing okay, thank you. How are you today? Very fine. Thank good. You. Nice, nice. Did you work, Gabriel? Sorry, I can't hear you. Did you work? No, I'm staying at home all day. Okay, good. What about you, Juanjo? Juan Jose, can you hear me? How was your day? I work at So you work today? I work at today. Yes, okay. I work. Okay. Noeli, how was your day? I fight each other in your day. Okay. Were you home or did you work? I want to stay in my house. Good. What about you, Edward? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, in my case, I'm very tight, teacher. Okay. Were you home or did you work? And I I work all all the morning and all the afternoon. Okay, good. And you, Rebecca, how was your day? Well, my day was good. I think I spent all my time in my house. Okay, good. All right, so welcome back, everybody. It's July 15, 2020. So let's begin. It's eight o'clock already. Um, what was yesterday's um, topic that we covered? Do you remember? Do you remember the activities we did here? Do you? I wish. Wish. Right. We were reviewing wish. How do you say me gustaría que tomaras más agua? In English. I wish. I wish you drank more water. I wish you drank more water. Yes. All right. How do you say me gustaría que no pasaras mucho tiempo en la televisión? I wish. I wish you didn't spill time on the television. Okay, good. I wish you didn't spend much time on television. Very good. So remember, the two examples, uh, I wish you drank more water. Drank is in the past form. And I wish you didn't spend much time in front of the television. Um, so it doesn't matter if the sentence is positive or negative. You always use the simple past form at the end. Very good. Um, what else did we do? What was the other topic? Do you remember the conversation you guys were having? Have you ever, have you ever? Yes, we started to talk about the um, present perfect. Very good. All the questions you were practicing yesterday in that particular um, activity, all the questions are in present perfect. Okay, uh, how many tenses are there in English? 12. 12. So some tenses, they have more demand than others. Present perfect is one of the tenses where people use it a lot. The same way you use it in Spanish, like no ha venido, no ha llamado, no te he visto, no han dicho nada. The same frequency that you use in Spanish, you use the same sequence, uh, the same uh, sequence uh, of frequency, frequency in English. So um, what's the auxiliary we use when we use the present perfect tense? 
what's the name of the auxiliary? Do you remember? Have you ever been in Guatemala? Has your sister called? Have you sent the report yet? What's the auxiliary? How? Or? How? Oh, have or has. Uh, okay. okay. So present perfect is one of the tenses um, where you need to be very familiar with it because when you use the language, people use it a lot. So it is necessary, mandatory that you master this topic. Okay, um, any other questions or comments related with yesterday's class? No? Okay, so your silence says a lot. Let me show you this. Mm -hmm. Let's wait until it opens. Hmm. All right, do you see the image? Yes. All right. What is the name of the topic? Simple past. Uh-huh, versus, versus present perfect. Good, thank you. So simple past versus present perfect. We mentioned before that the simple past is used to talk about actions that are completely finished, actions that are history. Present perfect is, we can say it's the opposite. With the present perfect, you talk about actions that you start in the past, but when you're speaking, there is a good possibility that you're doing the action still, or if you're not doing the action when you're speaking, it can happen again. So once again, the simple past tense is used to talk about finished activities. The present perfect tense is used to talk about unfinished activities. How do you say, he ido a Nicaragua dos veces? How do you say that in English? I have gone to Nicaragua two times. Okay, perfect, thank you. I have gone to Nicaragua two times. But the person saying that, there is a chance, there is a possibility that this person goes back next vacation, next December, next year, so the action is not completely finished because it can happen again. So I have been in Nicaragua, uh, I have been in Nicaragua two times. So going back the third time is possible because you're still alive. So can somebody please read the introduction here, the blue letters, please? Somebody, anybody? Okay. Please. Use the simple past for complete event, events at a definite time in the past. Okay. Use the present perfect for events with, within a time period up to the present. Up to the present. Very good. Thank you. So as she read, we use the simple past for completed events in a definite or particular time in the past. So you said, I went to Mexico two years ago. Uh, I had my first baby 27 years ago. I did my first communion when I was 12 years old. So you use the simple past tense to talk about finished activities in a particular time in the past. Now with the present perfect, it's not finished yet. So let's read the examples. Can somebody please read the first example, please? Have you ever eaten snails? Volunteer to read. Have you ever eaten a snail? Uh-huh. What is the answer? Yes, I have. 
I tried them last month. Very good, thank you. So the first question is very general. Have you ever eaten snails? ¿Alguna vez has probado caracoles? And then the person says, yes, I have. Sí los he probado. And then the person wants to be very specific. So she or he has to use the simple past tense to indicate when the action uh, happened. I tried them last month. Okay, do you guys uh, have any questions with the first example? No, teacher. Okay. So, yes, I have. I tried them last month. So, the person asking the question, he or she wants to be very specific. So, he uses the simple past and says, did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. So to be very specific about a time, you have to use the simple past tense. Okay. Uh, may I have another volunteer to read the examples that we have on the right? Have you ever been to a Vietnam restaurant? Uh-huh. No, I haven't. But I laid a Thai restaurant last night. Did you get on? Did you, did you go alone? Did you go alone? What is the answer? Can you hear me? Did you go alone? No, I went with some friends. So the first question here is very general. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? No, I haven't. But I ate at a Thai restaurant last night. Did you go alone? No, I went with some friends. So once again, when you make a combination of the simple past with the present perfect, usually it's very normal when you're having a real conversation that the two tenses, they, they go together. So the, the, sim, uh, the present perfect is very general. The simple past is very specific in terms of time. Any questions so far? Questions or comments? Is everything clear? Okay, so look here. When we talk about the present perfect, we use have and we use has as an auxiliary. The form of the verb, it doesn't matter if it's positive, negative, or question, the form of the verb is always past participle. And that's mandatory. How do you say bed in, in English? C. Si. What is the past tense of C? So. So, and the past participle? Sin. Sin. So, how do you say, yo te he visto antes? Have you seen him? Okay, if you're Have asked... Have you ever seen Okay, he says, yo te he visto antes. No me acuerdo dónde, pero te he visto antes. How do you say that in English? I have seen before. I have seen you before. So, nice to meet you. My name is Francisco. And the face looks familiar. said, I have seen you before. Somewhere, I don't remember where, but I've seen you before. So, I have seen you before. Te he visto antes. How do you say, no te he visto antes? I haven't seen you before. Uh -huh. I haven't seen you before. Your face is completely new. Now, how do you say, has visto el periódico? Have you? Have you seen the newspaper? Okay, have you seen the newspaper? As you guys can see, positive, negative, or question form, the form of the verb is always past participle. You cannot change it. It's not optional to use it or not. It is mandatory that you use the past participle of the verb. Okay, so once again, when you're using present perfect, you use auxiliary have or has. Um, <coughs> And the form of the verb is always past participle. Any questions so far? Questions? 
questions? No questions? All right, so let me show you a different document. Uh -huh. All right, this is a crossword. We're not going to do it, but um, number one, what is the past participle of make? Make. Made, M-A-D-E. What is the past participle of have? Uh, have, how do you spell have? Anybody, how do you spell have? Hello, hello? H-A-D. H-A-D, what about number three? What is the past participle of ride? Riding, reading, reading, reading. Very good. Ride, roll, reading. What about do? Done. Done. Fall. Fall. Fell and, fell and fallen. Good. Mm -hmm. What about sing? Um. Sing, sang, sung. Sung. Song, S-U-N-G. What about number seven? No. No, new. What is the past participle? No. No. Known. Known. So the Known. difference between the, the base form here and the past participle, you only add letter N at the end. Known. How do you say te he conocido toda la vida? Mm -hmm. I have known all life. I have known you all my life. Very good. What about number eight? Write, wrote. What is the past participle? Write, wrote. Uh huh. How do you, written, written. How do you spell written? W R I C E N. N. Very N. good. W R I double T E N. Very good. What about by? By. What is the past participle of by? Bought. 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 Okay, what about number 10? Fly? Flew? What is the past participle? Flown. Flown. Very good. What about break? Broke? Broken. 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 Very good. What about go? Went? Gone. Gun. G-O-N-E. What about cut? What is the past participle of cut? Cut. 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 Yeah. It, it doesn't change. Very good. What about teach? Cut. Teach. What is the past participle of teach? Anybody? Taught. Right? Taught. Yes. Taught. Teach. Taught. Taught. And last one is eat. Eat, ate, what is the past participle? Eating or eaten. Eaten, very good. Okay, so this is the only part that will challenge you when you're using the present perfect tense because um, it doesn't matter if it's positive, negative, or question, you will always use the auxiliary have or has. It doesn't matter if it's positive, negative, or question, the form of the verb is always past participle. 
personally, I feel that present perfect is one of the easiest tenses to use because the verb is always the same. The auxiliary is always the same. Any questions or comments? Questions or comments? Before you start doing the first exercise? Peter, can you share with us more example about? Sure. About yes. So um, let, let me show you this. Let me see it. New share. Okay, so before we start doing this exercise, let me ask you again, what is the auxiliary we use when we're using present perfect? Uh, have or? Has. Have or has. What is the difference between have and has? How use present with you? Uh huh. They. Okay. And we. Okay, good. And when do we use okay. have? With he, she, it. Very good. So have and has, they have exactly the same function. The only difference is the personal pronoun that you're using. So once again, I, you, we, they, you use have. And if you're talking about the third person singular, you use has. Any questions or comments? Questions, questions? Teacher, when we have the, the word ever, what is the function of, of this word? Okay, that, okay in that, my question. That's, a, that's a very good question. Um, you use ever, to indicate that if I want to ask you, alguna vez ha subido a un barco? Have you ever been on a boat? When I use the word ever, I just need yes or no as an answer. Alguna vez has estado en barco? Sí o no? That's fine. So the, the time when you were in a boat is not relevant. I just need to know if you've been on a boat or not. So how do you say alguna vez has nadado en el mar? Have you ever? Have you ever swam maybe? Uh-huh. Have you ever swam in, in the, the ocean, in the in sea? The so you say, yeah, many times. You know, I, I'm from Puerto La Libertad, so I began swimming uh, in the ocean when I was five years old. You know, so uh, ever means alguna vez. So the question is very general. Okay. Yep. Thank you. All right. Any other questions? Anybody else? So what would be the answer for number three? Jennifer didn't finish her homework. You're supposed to transfer the exercises on the paper to present perfect. So Jennifer didn't finish her homework. How will you transfer that to present perfect? It's a question. Jennifer haven't, hasn't uh -huh. finished finish her homework. Very good. Jennifer hasn't finished her homework. So that's exactly what you guys will do right now in pairs. You will go one by one, number three, number four, number five, and you will transfer uh, the, the information, the original information in the simple past, you will transfer it to the present perfect. Are the instructions clear, class? Yes. Okay, so here we go.
Um... Hello. Hello. Hoy sí. Hoy sí. Ah, ok. Ahí, after body. Oh, uh, yeah. Ok. Number three, Jennifer. Did... I don't know. Ok. Oh. The, es, sería, they have met the president. They have met the president, yes. Number five. No. Good. They have, teacher. Yes, sir. And the number... And the number three, I don't understand the verb finish in the present perfect. Uh, you just put ed. Only add ed. It's regular, uh, yes. You only put okay. ed at the end. Oh, okay, teacher. Okay. All right, good. Okay, the number four say they meet the president. For me, it... The next, Mr. Smith didn't read the book. Mr. Smith hasn't read the book. Hasn't read. Read. The, um, the pronunciation change, but the right is... Exactly. Finished. The writing stays the same, but uh, the past tense of read is red, like the color red. Okay. Read, red, red. Very good. Teacher in the number six, has Robert or Hal in past? No. He's uh, has Robert. No. Has Robert visited Vancouver? Okay. Yeah. Has is for he, she, and it. Everybody yes, else you use have. I confused because how the auxiliary in past. Yeah. Yeah, so it, 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 you know, and that's one of the things that I was telling you. When you use the present perfect, um, the form of the verb is always past participle. And um, you use have and you use has. Yeah, so only have or has. Yeah, so in the case of Roberto, it's him. So you're supposed to say has. No. Yep. Okay. Thank you. All right. Number nine, he has a teacher. Yeah. Yeah. Number 14, did he swim in the ocean? Um, I remember. Which one you don't remember? Hi. In Spanish. Uh, which number? Ten. Oh, were you in jail? Jail Ten. is a synonym of prison. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. So, have uh, you been in jail? Have you been in jail? Jail. Jail. Yes, jail. 
estoy de acuerdo. Teacher, what, what about the bear read? Read. The writing is the same, but pronunciation is different. Read, oh, okay. read, read. Okay, thank you. Sure. Okay, the number I nine. I you. <laughs> but I, <laughs> I want to, to stay um, seguro. <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right. Finished, teacher. You guys finished? Okay. Yeah. Let's go back. W question. No, it's, yes. it's different. Yes. It's different that yes or no question. Which, mm -hmm. which one are you doing? 16. Oh, so you're you're finished already. Yeah. Okay, so let's go back. All right. Um let's make sure everybody's on the same page. May I have a volunteer to do number three? Jennifer didn't finish her homework. Uh -huh. Volunteer, volunteer. Can you guys hear me? Teacher, can you share the, the sentence? The, the paper? Yeah. It's in the WhatsApp chat. Okay. Okay. Can I have a volunteer for number three? Volunteer, volunteer. Uh -huh. Jennifer hasn't finished her homework. Okay, Jennifer hasn't finished her homework. Okay, uh, Claudia, what is number four? They met the president. Can you hear me, Claudia? Or anybody else? Gabriela? Anybody? We can hear you. Okay, so they met the president. What would be the answer for that one? Class? They had met the president. They have met the president. Number five, no we didn't, no we haven't. Number six, did Robert visit Vancouver? Has Robert visited Vancouver? Number seven, yes he has. Number eight, Mrs. Smith hasn't read the book. Number nine, he has been a teacher. Number 10, have you been in jail? Number 11, I haven't cleaned my room. Number 12, no, they haven't. Number 13, has she been sick? 14, has he swum in the ocean? 15, they haven't arrived. And 16, where have they been? Any questions about the exercises I just read? Did you have the same when you were practicing? Did you? No, teacher. No. Okay, is everything clear so far? I guess, yes. I guess so. All right. So let's do some, um, Let's practice some pronunciation. Let's let's read um 
where's this document? Let me look for it. It's right here. All right, do you guys see the conversation? Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. According to the picture, where is this conversation? About the restaurant. In restaurant. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. In a restaurant. It's what possible is... a waiter. It's possible. Uh, a waiter. Mesero. Okay. Yeah. Waiter. Good. Waiter. What's the impression of the guy at the table? What can you tell from his face? Surprise. Yep. Yeah. Surprise. Okay, surprised or scared, right. What about the lady? What is her expression? Maybe happy. Hello. Uh huh, maybe happy. Now the waiter, he's holding a plate or a dish. What food do you see on the plate? Brain. Brains, exactly, brains. Okay, any questions about the picture? No. No? no okay, so we have Steve, we have Kathy, and we have the waiter. So I need three volunteers to read the, uh, the conversation. Once again, if you see a comma, you're supposed to pause. When you see a period, you're supposed to stop. You see the question mark, your intonation has to be of a question. Any questions before you start doing the reading? Okay, so who's going to be Steve? I am a waiter teacher. Okay, very good. You're the waiter. Who's who wants to be Steve? Me teacher. Okay, very good. Thank you. And Kathy? Kathy, Kathy? Hi. Oh, okay, very good. So let's do it. One, two, three. Hey, this sounds strange. A snail with with garbling. Have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. I had them here just last week. Do you like them? Yes, I did. Were delicious. Why don't you try some? Mm -hmm. No, I don't think so. How you decide on appetizers yet? Yes, I'll have a small order of the snails, please. And you, sir? I think I'll have the frail brains. Fry brains? I've never heard of that. I'm so scary. It sounds scary. Very good. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Um, any questions about pronunciation or meaning of the vocabulary? The pronunciation is free or fried? Fried. 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 Fried okay, brains. Thanks. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Any other Brian. questions? Brian in Spanish. Uh, sesos. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. All right, any other questions? Teacher, can you repeat the first question to the waiter, please? Sure. It says, have you decided on an appetizer yet? Appetizer. Appetizer, yes. Okay, thank you. Okay. What's the meaning of appetizer in Spanish? Mm. Aperitivos. Aperitivo. Okay, yes. Appetizers are like bocas or entradas that people ask before they um, ask for the main dish. So, what are some common appetizers in El Salvador? What is the most common? Soup. soup, soup, right? Soups are very popular. What about nachos? Yeah, or uh, Mexican food. 
Uh -huh. <laughs> right. Dog. Okay. Well, some Para people. Rey. It, yeah, some people eat hot dogs as uh, like, like chores. You know, they have them as as lunch. So. Yeah. All right. What is the strangest thing you guys have eaten? Do you remember the strangest things you guys have eaten? What kind of animals have you eaten before? Cusuco, uh, teacher. <laughs> armadillo, okay. Yeah, armadillo. <laughs> yeah, I tried armadillo like 20 years ago. Uh, the, I think armadillo is similar to chicken, but the color of the skin is, is dark. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. But the taste is all right. Yeah. Okay. Have you ever tried snake? Anybody? No. Never. Never? No. Okay. Have you ever tried shark? No. You tried shark before? No. Never? I tried shark in a cocktail. It was pretty good. The, the yeah. taste of the meat is good, but it's... um. It has something like veins that you cannot chew it that easy, but mm. it was all right. All right. Um, any questions about the conversation? No? No. Okay. So let's, uh, let me see, where are this? It's right here. Okay, so let's answer these questions. They're related to reading comprehension. Has Kathy ever eaten snails? Has she? Yes. Okay, so the answer is the first one? Yes. All right, what about number two? What did Steve order? What did he order? Sna did, did he order snails, fried brains, or a burger? Fried brains. Fried brains. Okay. Number three, true or false? The simple past in a tense that involves events that happened in the past and have been completed. True or false? True. 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 Exactly. Number four, what is correct? What is the correct response to the question? Have you ever eaten Mexican food? Yes, uh, I have. Yes, I have. Okay. I okay. Do you guys like Mexican food? Yeah. It's yeah. delicious. Very delicious. And number five, what is the correct response to the question? Did you drink coffee this morning? Yes, I do. Yes. I have on my little work. Okay, good. So let's click on this one here. We send it. And your answers were all good. Any questions or comments about this exercise, about this reading comprehension exercise? No, teacher. All right, so mm -hmm. let's go with the last activity. Um, where was this? Let me see this. Okay, these questions are similar to the ones you guys were practicing last night. Have you ever cried while watching the news or a movie? Have you ever dreamed about being famous? Have you ever lost your temper and blah, blah, blah? So you have 10, 10 questions you need, to, you, need, you need to answer in pairs. So let me send you an image of the questions. Okay, so uh, are the instructions clear, class? Yes, teacher. All right. Yes. So let's do this. 
uh, with her. All right, so here we go. Okay, the number three. Have you ever lost your temper and got really angry in public? Uh, thank God, no. I, I never uh, lost my temper. <laughs> and you? In my case, I I had, but I, I went shy. Uh -huh. I had a problem uh, with another person, and I uh, and I was in I don't remember the the night the restaurant is next to the the Pueblo Campero, uh -huh. and sells hamburgers. Ah. Uh. <laughs> what happened with the Teleton? <laughs> 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 mm. uh, is the the question number four have you ever raised money for charity oh okay <laughs> only for the teleton okay <laughs> oh that's good anymore all and right you? no Ellie. no never <laughs> <laughs> Many times. <laughs> okay. I In the world. <laughs> I think I am a, a very angry sometimes. <laughs> Principally when I was in the college. All the time I was angry with my classmates. Okay. That is very common. <laughs> yeah, it's very common. More when the classmates don't help. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, okay. It's terrible. The next one is, have you ever raised money for, for charity? 
I don't know. What is the mean? Do you know what is the mean of raising? Creo que sería como donar dinero a la caridad. Cole, colectar mm -hmm. dinero. Ah, okay. Ah, if I collect for charity. Yeah. Yes. Yes. How I have raised your money for charity. For example, in the store. Well, it's true. We all, uh, all of us, do that. <laughs> Teacher, I don't understand the number five. In the number in five, let's see. It says, have you ever sent someone an email and then regret sending it? Si alguna vez han mandado un correo y después se ha arrepentido. Ah, yes, teacher, yes, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> I remember exactly the, the email. And you... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for email, for chat, for... Uh, and for calling, maybe. <laughs> yeah. But in WhatsApp it's better because I, if you, you regret, arrepentirse? What is the meaning? Yeah, regret, regret. Ah, regret. Regret, you, you can erase the message and no problem. Mm. It's, um, it's like, which Primera one vista. Uh, it's number seven. seven. Yeah, amor seven. a primera vista. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Do you? Mm. Do you think that exists? <laughs> maybe no. Maybe <laughs> not. Okay. No. I think maybe yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, some people believe in it. Some people say, no, it, it's not possible, but who knows? Yeah. Mm. Okay, the number seven. Have you ever fallen in love at first six? Uh, yeah. Uh, maybe. Uh... For a mall, or a, I had a when you I on the bus, maybe. <laughs> okay. Mm, in you? my case, in the bus is two. When okay. uh, when I went to the Itka and I always. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. It's, it's not important for me because I don't remember this person, but it's possible to pass in me. Okay. <laughs> okay, eight. the number eight. Have you ever won a prize that you thought was a bad prize? Uh, I don't understand this. <laughs> Have you ever? alguna vez ha ganado un premio que usted consideraba que era malo? No. No, I don't have. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Are there any questions about the present perfect so far? Is everything clear? Yes. Okay. Yes, so we will practice uh, some more tomorrow. And um, just once again, thanks for making the space. I'll be seeing you tomorrow, same place, same time. Okay, thank you. Tiffin. Have a good night. Get some rest. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Bye, Deja. Bye bye. Have a good night. Same to you.